Hey guys, how's it going? Well, I am uh, doing something I've never done before. I'm eating my cereal, a la my Rice Krispies, uh, in the front seat of my car. Now, I don't know if I should call this thing a car or a van, and technically it's a van, but it drives like a car. It's got the engine of a car. I guess it looks like a van, so I should call it a van. Anyway, these are my Rice Krispies. I guess I shouldn't eat on camera, it's kind of rude. I'm eating my Rice Krispies in the van this morning because the last, I don't know, long while, a couple weeks anyway, I keep waking up really early, like 5, 5.30, and I don't need to. Today is my one day to sleep in, Sunday, and what do you know? I'm up at 5, woohoo! Uh, so, you know, I just slowly wake up, surf the internet for about an hour, half an hour, then um, about 6.30, I um, get dressed and uh, drive up to the uh, Starbucks, have a nice uh, large cup of tea. These days I'm alternating between Earl Grey and uh, English breakfast. And um, then I, you know, watch some videos while I'm drinking my tea, some YouTube videos. And then uh, I get started and then I kind of do this thing where when I get up I don't want to be in the van. I want to get out and do something. I'm not going to hang out in the van for three hours in the morning. I never do that. So I finished my cereal and uh, gave it a little wipe with paper towel. It's not super clean, um, but usually before I use it again, I'll get some vinegar and give it a couple shots and wipe it out again. So what I do is I just put my soy milk and my uh, bowl and cereal in my backpack and I bring it with me. So the topic of this video is... Van dwellers on YouTube who've disappeared. Or virtually disappeared. Whatever happened to Sunny Van Dweller? I loved her channel. I, uh, I found her voice very soothing and um, relaxing. But I really used to like her uh, Sunny Van Dweller's uh, old videos where she used to like take you through a trip through the, uh, the thrift store or the grocery store or a local garden store. And uh, I don't know, I just found her, her manner very relaxing. So, I don't know, I haven't even checked her channel. I should see if she still even has videos up. I think what was happening was with her is that she was getting harassed. Um, I'm not positive about that, but I have a suspicion that that's what was happening. It's terrible, you know. Female van dwellers or female YouTubers, you gotta be careful out there. There's a lot of nuts who will, uh, you know, just kind of creep, be creeps. So she was careful. She never showed her face. And, you know, she obviously was careful about her identity. But I guess um, things just went to the next level that uh, where she didn't feel comfortable. Um, another van dweller that uh, we've been missing for a long time now uh, well, basically two that I can think of from way back. Uh, the first guy that I started watching was Kyle Pounds in his VW uh, Vanagon. And uh, I couldn't do what he was doing. That was a little bit too close to the earth, if I can use that saying. Just living in an unconverted van. Of course, it does have the stuff, but I couldn't do that. I couldn't sit in a van all day like that. Um... I really I enjoyed his stuff. He is kind of, uh, you know, stoner, dope smoker kind of uh, mentality. And uh, but he had some good philosophical things to say, and I enjoyed his videos. Um, 
And then another guy is Chad from Living the Van Life. He's uh, moved on from living in a van. He's uh, doing this uh, video photography stuff. And he started a new channel about a couple months ago called For the Adventure or something like that. Um, I don't think it's going to be quite as successful as uh, Living the Van Life with the amount of subscribers and stuff. But uh, I liked him. I liked his stuff. And, uh, you know... Uh, Will Burson is another van dweller who has kind of recently left us. <coughs> he's come back, um, but he's not. It seems to me that he's moved in with Joy and uh, his girlfriend, on and off girlfriend, and um, they look. It looks like he's living in a house now, and he's kind of expressed that uh, he's not uh, enjoying being in a confined van anymore, which. It's kind of unfortunate. He was a big inspiration to me. Um, and I really... Him and I have a lot in common, both being vegans and van dwellers, and he's a health guy, and I, I try to be healthy. Uh, politically, completely the opposite, apparently. <laughs> but I'm not going to go there. No, no, I'm not going there. No politics. Anyway... Um, yeah, so uh, he's still making the odd video these days. Um, not as prolific as he used to be, but, you know, you got to give the guy credit. He made a lot of videos on van dwelling and a lot of useful, great information. So there's probably other people that I'm not remembering that aren't making videos as much or at all anymore uh, in the van dwelling community. Um... And if you think of any other ones that I've missed, uh, I'm sure there are lots. Uh, please let me know in the comment section below. So today I uh, started at one Home Depot um, where there's a Starbucks right by. And it's kind of in the area that I uh, stay at a lot. And they didn't have the polystyrene I needed, which is right here. I parked underneath the sky, sky train rail thing, so I'm in a relatively dry area, even though it's pouring rain. Actually, it's actually tape. Well, it is still pouring rain. It's not as bad as it was earlier, but uh, weatherman says 100% chance of rain today. Um, so I uh, I went to the original Home Depot. They didn't have the polystyrene. They had one piece left, which was all mangled. Um, so I drove all the way to the other Home Depot, and these guys have lots of polystyrene in the, uh, uh, two foot by eight foot variety. So yeah, the van dwellers on YouTube, um, it's kind of sad to see them go, and, uh, but you know, life is full of change, and, uh, they say the only constant is change. And uh, I guess that's a, a change in that regard as well. I wish them luck. Um, the great thing is, is they can always come back to van dwelling if they need to, or if they want to down the road. And once you do it, you know that it's, it's a viable option. It really is a possibility. Once you kind of work out the logistics, how to keep warm, um, how to cook in it, you know, how to go to the bathroom and all that stuff that has been talked about quite a bit so I wanted to say uh, a, a big thank you to all of my subscribers and um, I'm getting closer to 3,000 which is um, which is great I really didn't expect to be uh, to have that many subscribers or anything I know my content isn't as uh, interesting as some of the other YouTubers out there like uh, you know Adventure Van Man and nomadic fanatic driving all around the US and checking out different locations and scenes and those guys have a lot of subscribers and I'm happy for them but uh, kind of not what I where I am in life and even if I could drive around the country all the time I don't think I'd want to I don't really like driving that long like an hour two hours max and that's good enough for me um, Plus, I like being in the same area. I like to, uh, you know, cultivate friendships and 
partake in activities like being in a, in a rock and roll cover band um, and, that, and, and that kind of stuff and of course my kids um, those things are going to be done locally so anyways guys I think that's going to do it for this one thanks for watching take care have a great day